Well, if you're like me and you have a smaller yard, but you like to garden, um, sometimes it can be hard to plant something new every year because all of your actual space in the yard has been taken up with the plants that you've put in. But that's where container gardening is great. And I absolutely love container gardening. And the other way to mix it up is to look around for things that you have that are more unusual containers and not just using pots. And one of the things that we found, my husband was cleaning out, and sadly, my son has outgrown his Tonka truck. And it is by far a, the best toy that was ever made. It's had great use, um, but it's time to retire it, but we just couldn't get rid of it. And the nice thing is, it's got this great big bed in it, and so we can use that as a planter. It'll be awesome. We can just put it in the garden. So pretty much it was ready to go, except that I need, we needed to add some drainage. So we just put some holes in here. And then um, it is kind of shallow, and so I'm going to use some plants. I'm going to use succulents in here because the, it's okay if it dries out. And um, the other thing that I want to watch when I plant with succulents is that my soil mix, um, if you get soil mix from the garden center, um, you can amend it to work better with succulents. You can add a little bit of perlite, that's the white here. You can also add some bark, a little bit of sand in there, and moisten it ahead of time. Um, you want to stay away from the mixes that have those um, moisture beads in them because it may end up keeping your um, potting mix a little too moist for succulents. But you can surely amend a regular mix to be a good planting mix for these. So I'm just going to fill my truck with a little bit of soil and then I'm going to put my succulents in. And when you're making combination pots, whether they're succulents or any other type of plant, you usually want to go with at least one that's taller. Now this isn't quite as tall as I would like it to be, um, but it does stand up a little bit taller. Get our level here. And then um, you also want one or two trailing plants that you would put in. We're going to put one up here at front. We're going to stick a, a trailer, trailer here to kind of spill out the back. And we could even kind of plant this in here sideways a bit. There we go. And then we're going to fill in around all of that with a few of these that are um, just kind of lower bushy type plants. And of course with a succulent it doesn't look quite so bushy, but it is a lower plant. It's not a trailer and it's not super tall. You can just kind of work with these, figure out where you want them to go. And arrange them in here, however. And you don't have to fill all of the space because you actually want to leave room for some of these to grow. Uh, we can just use a few of these jade plants in here. And then fill in around. Yeah, I'm going to use a little more. And the uh, hen and chicks are always a good one to use. And then you Okay. And then we're going to fill in. Now be sure, um, as you're planting these, oddly enough, succulents, which are such tough plants, you actually have to handle them kind of gently, even though these don't have thorns. Um, but once you've got it all planted here, you can just water in, and that will actually cause the soil to settle a bit, and then you can fill in around it as you need to. So this is a fun project, kind of a way to mix up your container gardening, and also you can do it with your child that's getting rid of toys, and if he's like mine, he doesn't want to get rid of any, any toys anyway, so um, they'll enjoy finding a new use for their favorite toy. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.